Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Don Gardner, who is KC3RDV. And he has an interesting question here, uh, and I want to clear up a misconception that may make things far easier for him. He says, Hi Dave, I'm new to the hobby and was very pleased when I came across your YouTube channel. Thank you. Lots of great information and well-delivered, easy to understand, and interesting segments. My head might get so big I can't get it through the door to go to dinner. In my readings, I've noted that center-fed dipoles are better than end-fed configurations. No, not true. A dipole is a dipole is a dipole. Whether you feed it in the center, off-center-fed, or end-fed, it's still a dipole. Okay, if you can feed it in such a way that you transfer all the energy from the feed line to the dipole, you're fine. Okay, this is why the um, popular appearance of the off-center fed dipoles over the last 10 or 15 years, and uh, then when my antennas pioneered N-fed, um, they did a, a, I've got one of the my antennas N-fed dipoles. I'm very impressed with it. Okay, um, my question is whether I can suspend the feed line of the center fed, fed dipole from one of the radiating legs to get it back to my transceiver. If so, how far below the radiating leg should it be placed? Thanks in 73 from Don Gardner. Let's take a look at what he's asking about. Let's say this is his house, okay, and he's got a, a tree over here. My wife has all the artistic talent in the house. Now we're going to hang a dipole in between here and the tree. Okay, that's a dipole. That brown is a little hard to make out from the black, so let's go over here and put in a blue dipole. Okay, now it could be center-fed, it could be off-center-fed, or it could be end fed okay now what he would like to do is take his coax from here and hang it from one of the legs of the dipole to get it back to the house um, I think the simplest answer to that is no it's not going to work for you. I mean, in theory, it might, but you'd get some such coupled stuff. The proper angle for a dipole to hang, the feed line, and I'll make the feed line red again, is from the middle straight down to the ground. Okay, and then wander over to the house, okay? Feed line to the ground and then over there. Now you can see obviously if you off-center fed it, you've got less feed line to take care of. And if you end feed it, you've got much, much less to worry about. You can take this down to your, your uh, ground, um, your station single point ground. Now end fed antennas often require counterpoises. Um, that's just a piece of wire attached uh, that you can experiment with lengths. Gives it something to quote work against. Uh, they are capacitive in nature. They can affect the tuning. The my antennas will use the piece of your braid on the cable between the end of the dipole and the ground as the counterpoise. Um, and it works. That's what I did. In fact, mine was 50 feet. My, I have uh, a piece of cable connected to my um, lightning arrestor assembly that is 50 feet long that I use for all the different antennas I test. And very soon I'm going to be testing the uh, uh, antenna I got from uh, uh, the Isotron. And use that same piece of uh, coax. I've got some work to do outside. The weather is here. Um, 
what I'm trying to find is an assistant who can help me with it. I, I have an assistant uh, who lives in Boulder who can help with some of the web work, but I am in sore need of an assistant here. Okay, now what I'm going to tell you here is to end feed it. What you want is a 49 to 1 dipole, or 49 to 1 ballon, 49 to 1. Okay, you feed it at the end, it goes over to the tree, whatever. You have your coax coming from here down to your ground rod and your lightning arrestor here, and then it goes up into the shack, and everything is copacetic. These are often multi-band antennas uh, and they're funny little tweaks that you can do with these things to get them to work on different parts of different bands and so on there's a whole genre of literature now about these n-fed antennas uh, my antennas came out with them 10 years ago and i remember being extremely skeptical because this is the high impedance point of the antenna at the ends it's approximately 30 to 70 ohms in the middle and it's 2000 to 4000 or higher ohms at the end okay so um the thing i would tell you to do okay let's use a different color i haven't used green in a while i know some people have issues with green but i'm going to put this right here and i'm going to say this is a peep of rope and it's three feet long get it three feet away from the house before you put the and there's a hanger on this thing for that if you go to my antennas dot com now, the expenses in the um, ballon, okay, these things aren't terribly cheap, $250, $300, something like that. That's not peanuts. For some people who are price insensitive, that's dirt cheap, but um, a lot of the antennas that I have reviewed have been sent to me by the manufacturer but uh, here recently because the channel is doing so well I buy them and I bought my my antennas I just went online and ordered it like I was anybody else okay um, and um, I found that I was extremely surprised at how well it worked uh, 10 years ago or so when QST reviewed um, the my antennas antenna they too were quite surprised that it worked they were very skeptical about in feeding an antenna but uh, they seem to have solved the problem to do it this means that you have nothing hanging down in the middle of the yard don't put it along the antenna uh, you can you end up creating what's called almost a coaxial antenna um, there are ways of doing it but it is just so much easier to do this okay so much easier to do this and just feed it at the end and then you have a very clean backyard you have uh, my antennas makes their uh, wire insulated gray stranded wire and the gray makes it very hard to see under many conditions so it's almost like a stealth antenna now the end doesn't have to be very high uh, my antennas does almost recommend that you put a post in the middle and run it up here like this in an inverted V configuration which is the way I have mine you tune it by taking a little bit off the end you tune it on 80 taking some off the end or whatever I think I took two feet five feet something like that off the end uh, to get it matched up just perfectly and uh, right now d is uh the big ir i've got it on the big ir i've got my experimental antenna which is right now connected to the my antenna and i did a video on it it'd be something good to look at okay so i hope that helps there you have it until we next meet 73